In today's lesson, we're going to see the similarities between walking inside a home and the absolute value. It is customary that when men walk into a home, they remove their head. It may sound antiquated, but it's still a rule nonetheless, especially in schools. Which individual would be affected by this rule? If you stated this particular person, you would be correct. He had a baseball cap on. And this person has a B. When we look at the absolute value of 5 over 14, this is equal to 5 over 14. Just like all the other individuals who were not wearing a hat weren't affected. But when we see a negative sign, it's like wearing a hat. When we take a look at the absolute value of negative 11 over 21, it's equal to 11 over 21. We're going to remove that negative just like we removed the hat. By the end of this lesson, I'll be able to define the absolute value of a number and find the absolute value of numbers. How is finding the distance between two points related to the absolute value? The absolute value of a number is the number's distance from zero on a number line. When we take a look at 10, 10 is 10 units away from zero, and negative 10 is also 10 units away from zero. The absolute value of 10 is 10, and the absolute value of negative 10 is also 10. When we take a look at this line in red, this is considered sea level. Anything below this line is considered below sea level, and anything above this line is considered above sea level. When we take a look at 20 meters above sea level and 20 meters below sea level, which one is further from sea level? You would be correct if you said they're the same distance away from sea level. They're 20 meters away from sea level. It's very similar to saying the distance you travel from home to school is the same distance that you travel from school to home, as long as you take in the same exact direction. If you're doing a, a different route, then obviously it's not the same. Distance is always non-negative. Non-negative just means not negative. To show you what the absolute value of a real number, you put marks on either side called bars. For example, the absolute value of negative 10 is 10, and the absolute value of 10 is 10. Let's walk into this home. The doorway is like the bars. So in this case, what will happen to this individual? He'll have to remove his hat. And this individual, you have to remove his bean. This individual, yes, you'll have to remove that cowboy hat. And you're not fooling anyone by putting your hat backwards. You're still going to have to remove it. But if you walk in without headwear, there's nothing that happens. Let's find the absolute value of these examples. The absolute value of 6 is simply 6. The absolute value of negative 7 is simply 7. When I read this one, you might read it as negative the absolute value of 6. I like to read it as the opposite of the absolute value of 6. Since I already know that the absolute value of 6 is 6, the opposite of this would be negative 6. Now notice there was no operations, no symbols in front of this absolute value, and there was nothing here. In this particular case, again, nothing in front of this absolute value, and I have a 7, nothing in front of it. But in this case, I had a negative in front of this absolute value, so therefore, I have a negative 6. What do you guys think would be the answer for this one? And if you stated plus or minus 2, you are correct. We read this as plus or minus 2. In this case, what do you think would happen? Again, it would be plus or minus 3. In this case, we know the absolute value of negative 11 is 11. The opposite of that would be negative 11. Now, this one is a bit tricky. Since x is our unknown variable x could be positive like in this particular case with the absolute value of six it could also be zero and it could also be negative so we'll have three different answers when x is positive it's x just like in this case it was the same six and six were the same when x is zero it's going to be zero and when x is negative it's going to be negative x and when we say negative x we're negating it that means we're writing the opposite of it. So in this case, when we negate negative 7, we get the opposite of negative 7, which is 7. An inequality is a mathematical sentence that uses an inequality symbol to compare the values of two expressions. The following are inequality symbols. Now, if you ever get stuck on saying, hey, is this greater than or is that less than? The way I always remember is the less than symbol, you can actually write less than. 
The greater than symbol, you kind of can make a greater than like so. Also, if you look at your left hand palm down, you can make a L for less than. Hopefully that helps you remember the difference between the less than symbol and the greater than symbol. The real number line provides you with a way of comparing any two real numbers. If A is to the left of B, then A is less than B, written as A is less than B. You can also describe this relationship by saying that B is greater than A, or B is greater than A. So again, left means less, less means left. Let's compare negative 4 and the absolute value of negative 7. The location of negative 4 is here on the number line, and the location for the absolute value of negative 7, since the absolute value of negative 7 is 7, is here. Left means less, meaning less means left. Therefore, negative 4 is less than the absolute value of negative 7. Or we can say the absolute value of negative 7 is greater than negative 4. Let's compare by writing the less than symbol, the greater than symbol are equal to. The absolute value of 7 is 7. The absolute value of negative 7 is also 7. Therefore, we know that 7 is equal to 7. Therefore, the absolute value of 7 is equal to the absolute value of negative 7. The absolute value of 0 is 0, and the absolute value of negative 9 is 9. We can see that 0 is less than 9. Therefore, the absolute value of 0 is less than the absolute value of negative 9. The absolute value of negative 1 is 1. A negative 9 is just negative 9. We should see that 1 is greater than negative 9. Therefore, the absolute value of negative 1 is greater than negative 9. Let's order the values from least to greatest. Let's first simplify this expression when needed. Negative 3 is just negative 3. The absolute value of negative 9 is 9. Negative 7 is just negative 7. The opposite of the absolute value of 2 is negative 2. The absolute value of 6 is 6. The least number out of this bunch is negative 7, followed by negative 3, followed by negative 2, then 6, then 9. Notice I used their original value when placing. This is going to make it a lot easier when I'm writing it from least to greatest. And it would look like so. Negative 7, then negative 3, then the opposite of the absolute value of 2, then the absolute value of 6, and then the absolute value of negative 9. Which of these two animals are further away from the surface? The peregrine falcon at an elevation of 50 meters above sea level, or the dolphin at a depth of 30 meters below sea level? This is a case where we use absolute value. We're looking at the absolute value of 50 and the absolute value of negative 30. The absolute value of 50 is 50, and the absolute value of negative 30 is 30. 50 is greater than 30 meaning that the peregrine falcon is further from sea level by 20 meters.